If you're wondering which programming laptops are worth your money, stick around. After we run through each product, I'll give you my personal take. Would I buy it or would I skip it? No fluff, just my honest opinion. Let's get into it. MacBook Pro M3 Max. The performance on this beast is absolutely insane, with Geekbench scores showing it's about 15% faster in single core tasks compared to the M2 Max. While the battery life is fantastic and can last a full work day, the price point for higher configurations will hit your wallet incredibly hard. The stunning Liquid Retina XDR display with ProMotion and 1600 nits peak brightness makes coding sessions a joy, though the lack of touchscreen might be a deal breaker for some developers. The M3 Max can handle dozens of Chrome tabs and multiple IDEs simultaneously without breaking a sweat, but you'll need to shell out serious cash for the higher RAM configurations. What I buy? Maybe. While the performance is unmatched and perfect for programming, the astronomical price makes it hard to justify unless you're doing heavily compilation work or running multiple virtual machines. Lenovo IdeaPad 5 Pro. The build quality on this laptop is phenomenal with zero flex or creaking anywhere, and the aluminum chassis feels premium while being fingerprint resistant. The 7840H's processor delivers exceptional performance for programming tasks, and with 32GB of RAM, you can run multiple development environments without any slowdown. The display looks fantastic with no visible backlight bleed, and the anti-glare coating works great without adding any graininess. The battery life is impressive, lasting around 8-9 to nine hours of light use with web browsing and text editing at 80% brightness. Would I buy it? Yes. The combination of build quality, performance, and price make this an absolute no-brainer for programmers who want a reliable workhorse without breaking the bank. HP Pavilion Plus 14 The laptop suffers from significant performance throttling under load, which can be problematic during compilation tasks. While it comes with a decent port selection, the lack of USB port support is disappointing for a modern development machine. The removal of the SD card reader from previous models feels like a step backward for developers who need quick access to external storage. The battery life is mediocre, requiring you to stay plugged in during longer coding sessions. Would I buy it? No. The performance limitations and missing features make this difficult to recommend when there are better options available at similar price point. Asus ZenBook 14X OLED The 120Hz OLED display is absolutely phenomenal for coding, with perfect screen uniformity and fantastic color reproduction. The performance is solid for development work, easily handling dozens of browser tabs, and image editing while running development environments in the background. The keyboard feels great for long coding sessions, and the build quality is premium with a sturdy inkwell gray ceramic finish. The laptop stays reasonably cool under load, with the underside hitting only 93.3 degrees during stress tests. Would I buy it? Yes. The combination of the stunning OLED display, solid performance and excellent build quality makes this an outstanding choice for programmers who value both functionality and aesthetics. Framework Laptop 16 the customization on this laptop is absolutely insane. I can swap out ports, input modules, and even upgrade the graphics card whenever I want, which is perfect for adapting to different programming environments. The display is super bright and vivid with a 2560 to 1600 resolution, making code incredibly crisp and readable, though I noticed some flex in the screen which can be annoying during long coding sessions. Performance is decent with an AMD Ryzen 7 7840HS, but I found it falls behind similarly priced laptops in raw processing power, which could affect compilation times for larger projects. The battery life is impressive at nearly 9 hours of continuous use, but the build quality feels a bit compromised due to all of the modular components. Would I buy it? Maybe. While the upgradability is fantastic for future proofing, the higher price point and slightly compromised build quality may get a top sell compared to traditional laptops. Asus VivoBook S14X OLED The gorgeous 2.8K OLED display with 120Hz refresh rate makes staring at code all day an absolute pleasure for my eyes, with its 100% DCI-P3 color coverage and Pantone validation. The Intel Core i7-12700H processor handles everything I throw at it smoothly, from running multiple IDEs to compiling large projects. The cooling system does an excellent job keeping temperatures in check during heavy workloads, though the right side can get a bit warm during intense sessions. Build quality is fantastic with a premium feel, and the keyboard provides a comfortable typing experience for those marathon coding sessions. Would I buy it? Yes. The combination of a stunning OLED display, powerful processor, and excellent build quality makes this an outstanding choice for programmers. MSI Prestige 16 AI EVO The Intel Core Ultra processor with its dedicated MPU sounds promising, but in real-world programming tasks, I found the performance to be underwhelming compared to competitors. The laptop runs quite hot under load, which is concerning for long coding sessions. While the 16-inch display offers plenty of screen real estate, the off-center touchpad is awkward to use when writing code. 
the AI features feel more like marketing gimmicks than actually useful tools for programming work. Would I buy? No. Despite its promising specs, the thermal issues and underwhelming performance make it hard to recommend for serious programming work. Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 12 The legendary ThinkPad keyboard is better than ever, making it an absolute joy to type code for hours on end. The 2.8K OLED display with anti-glare coating is perfect for programming, offering excellent visibility even in bright environments. Performance is rock solid with the Intel Core Ultra 7 155H processor, and I never experienced any hiccups even with multiple development environments running. The build quality is exceptional, and at such a lightweight form factor, it's perfect for coding on the go. Would I buy it? Yes. The combination of the best-in-class keyboard, gorgeous display, and reliable performance make this the ultimate programming laptop. Dell XPS 17 while the large 17-inch display might seem appealing for coding, the 720p webcam is seriously disappointing for a laptop at this price point. The performance is strong with impressive benchmark scores, but the laptop runs quite hot under load and the keyboard feel is lackluster for long coding sessions. The limited port selection forces you to rely on dongles, which is frustrating when you need to connect multiple peripherals during development. Despite having powerful components like the RTX 4070 and Intel Core i7, the battery drains even when the lid is closed, making it unreliable for on-the-go programming. Would I buy it? No. The combination of heating issue, support keyboard and battery drain make it hard to recommend for programming, especially considering its premium price point. MacBook Air M3 The M3 chip delivers exceptional performance with Geekbench 6 cores of 3082 single core and 12087 multi-core, making it perfect for running multiple development environments. The battery life is phenomenal, and the 16-core neural engine handles AI-driven development tasks with impressive speed. The ability to support dual external monitors is a game-changer for coding, and the ultra-portable design means you can code anywhere. The bright and colorful 13.6-inch Retina display makes code highly readable, and the laptop handles over 30 open windows without breaking a sweat. Would I buy it? Yes! The combination of powerful performance, exceptional battery life and dual monitor support make it an ideal choice for programmers who value portability and reliability. Asus ZenBook 14 Flip OLED The 2.8K OLED display with 100% sRGB coverage makes code incredibly crisp and readable, though it does suffer from glare in bright environments. The keyboard provides a solid typing experience for coding sessions, and the laptop stays surprisingly quiet under load. While it handles day-to-day -day programming tasks smoothly, the device can run a bit hot under intensive compilation tasks. The 360-degree folding capability is neat but not particularly useful for programming, and the battery life of 6.5 hours might not get you through a full day of coding. Would I buy it? Maybe. While the display and keyboard are great for programming, the heat issue and battery life make it a conditional recommendation depending on your specific needs. Dell XPS 15 9520 the build quality is impressive with, a, with an aluminum and carbon fiber body, and the keyboard offers decent key travel for comfortable coding sessions. The display options include a bright Full HD Plus panel with 95% sRGB coverage, making code easily readable. However, the cooling system struggles under load with only two heat pipes, causing the CPU to throttle quickly during intensive compilation tasks. The limited I.O. with just two Thunderbolt 4 ports can be restrictive when connecting multiple development peripherals. Would I buy it? Maybe. The solid build quality and display are appealing, but the thermal throttling could be problematic for heavy development work. HP Spectre X3614 While this laptop boasts a stunning 2.8K OLED display and impressive build quality, its Intel Core Ultra processor with integrated graphics simply isn't powerful enough for serious development work. The laptop's susceptibility to OLED burn-in is particularly concerning for programmers who often have static IDE windows open for extended periods. Though it offers excellent battery life and a comfortable keyboard, the 32GB RAM limit and lack of upgradability severely restrict its potential for running multiple development environments and virtual machines. The 14-inch screen, while beautiful, feels cramped when working with multiple code windows or documentation side by side. Would I buy it? No. The combination of integrated graphics, RAM limitations, and OLED burn-in risk makes this a poor choice for programming work. Lenovo Slim 7i Pro X the full-power Intel Core i7-12700H processor and dedicated graphics make this machine a powerhouse for compilation and running multiple development environments simultaneously. The innovative 14.5-inch display with a 16 to 10 aspect ratio and 3072 to 1920 resolution provides ample screen real estate for coding, while the 120Hz refresh rate ensures smooth scrolling through long code files. 
The responsive keyboard is typical Lenovo quality, perfect for long coding sessions. And the aluminum build keeps everything sturdy and professional looking. The laptop stays remarkably cool and quiet during operation, which is crucial during those intense debugging sessions. Would I buy it? Yes. The combination of powerful hardware, excellent display, and superior build quality make this an ideal choice for programming work. Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3 Despite its gaming focus, this budget laptop's middling AMD processor and basic RTX 3050 graphics card struggle with resource-intensive development tools. The 256GB SSD feels extremely restrictive for maintaining multiple development environments, though there is room for upgrades. While the 120Hz display offers smooth operation, its poor color accuracy and low brightness make it difficult to read code for extended periods. The build quality feels cheap and the battery life won't get you through a full day of coding. Would I buy it? No. The limited storage, subpar display and mediocre performance make this a poor choice for programming work. Microsoft Surface Laptop 5 The low-power Intel processors with integrated graphics severely limit this laptop's capability for running multiple development tools. While the 3 to 2 aspect ratio display is sharp and well calibrated, the 60Hz refresh rate feels sluggish when scrolling through code. The limited port selection with just one USB-A and one USB-C port makes connecting multiple per peripherals a hassle. The CPU's performance drops significantly under sustained loads, which is problematic during lengthy compile sessions. Would I buy it? No. The weak processor, limited ports, and performance throttling make this unsuitable for serious programming work. Lenovo ThinkPad T14 S Gen 6 The keyboard on this machine is absolutely world-class, making those long coding sessions feel like a breeze, and the feather-like chassis means you can take it anywhere without breaking your back. The Snapdragon X Elite processor handles everything from complex spreadsheets to coding with impressive performance, and you're getting over 14 hours of battery life which is perfect for those marathon debugging sessions. The laptop comes with 32GB of RAM and a 1TB SSD, giving you plenty of room for all your development environments and virtual machines. While some Windows programs aren't optimized for ARM architecture, 175 premium apps are currently supported, and the integrated MPU handles AI tasks efficiently. What I buy? It? Yes. This is a powerhouse for programming with incredible battery life and a top-tier keyboard, making it perfect for developers who need reliability and portability. Lenovo ThinkPad E16 Gen 1 Running on the 13th Gen Intel Core i5 processor with integrated Iris XE graphics, this laptop handles development tasks smoothly while supporting up to two external 4K displays at 120Hz. The RAM is expandable up to an impressive 40GB, 8GB soldered plus 32GB SODIMM giving you plenty of headroom for running multiple IDEs and containers. Performance tests show it's a productivity powerhouse, scoring particularly well in the App Score benchmark with 9,877 points. The laptop runs cool and quiet during typical workloads, with the fan producing only a low, unobtrusive wear when it does kick in. What I buy? It? Yes. The combination of expandable RAM, multi-monitor support, and solid performance makes this an excellent choice for programmers who need a reliable workhorse. Razer Blade 15 While this laptop packs a powerful hardware with an Intel Core i7-12800H and RTX 3070 Ti graphics, it gets uncomfortably hot in the palm rest during intensive tasks. The build quality is premium with a streamlined, slim design and plenty of ports including a UHS-2 SD card reader, but you're paying a premium price that doesn't justify the value for programming needs. Battery life is mediocre at just over 5 hours of video streaming, though you can extend it by dropping to 60Hz refresh rate. The laptop offers expandable RAM and storage options, but the high price point and thermal issues make it hard to recommend for programming specifically. Would I buy it? No. Despite its powerful specs, the thermal issues and high price point make it a poor choice for programming when there are better optimized alternatives available. Acer Swift Edge The laptop's impressive 3200-2000 OLED display with 120Hz refresh rate might seem appealing, but the battery life of only 6-7 to seven hours isn't enough for serious coding sessions. While it's incredibly lightweight at under 3 pounds, the build quality feels less premium with its magnesium aluminum alloy construction. The AMD Ryzen 7 8840U processor offers decent performance, but it doesn't stand out in benchmark tests compared to competitors. The memory is soldered LPDDR5 with no upgrade options, which is a significant limitation for developers who might need more RAM in the future. Would I buy it? No. The combination of poor battery life, non-upgradable RAM, and mediocre performance makes this is a part choice for programming work. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you pick the programming laptops for you. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. Links to all of these products mentioned in this video will be in the description. Alright, peace out.